Hi, and welcome to the Vagrant from Scratch course. Before we begin exploring Vagrant, it's important that we cover some basic concepts such as virtualization and understand why exactly someone would choose to learn about Vagrant. That's what we'll be doing in this video. Let's get started. So what exactly is virtualization? Well, virtualization is a technology that allows you to run multiple operating systems simultaneously on a single computer. There are two types, and the first one is known as hosted virtualization. Let's explore this type of virtualization through a very simplified layered architecture diagram. At the bottom, of course, we have the physical hardware. In other words, the parts that make up your physical machine. On top of that, we run an operating system. This could be Windows, Mac OS X, Linux, BSD, Solaris, or whatever. This is called the host operating system because it is the operating system of the physical machine itself. The host OS can run numerous applications on top of it. For example, you may have an internet browser like Firefox or Chrome open, along with other applications including a word processor or a spreadsheet software. A particular type of application is called a hypervisor. This is a software application or layer that allows you to run virtual machines on top of it. And each of these virtual machines can run their own applications. The operating systems run on these virtual machines are known as guest operating systems because they are operating within the confines of the host. The second type of virtualization is known as bare metal. In this case, instead of running a full operating system onto which you run a hypervisor, you instead just run the hypervisor directly on top of the physical hardware. Then you provision your guest operating systems on top of the hypervisor. Typically in this scenario, you only have a single application which runs on each virtual machine. The bare metal scenario makes sense for certain use cases such as provisioning resources within data centers. This is because if you're operating a data center, it makes sense to put the hypervisor directly above the physical hardware so that you can gain the benefits of better performance with lower overhead between each virtual machine. The hosted scenario makes complete sense for personal use because of the flexibility it provides. The hypervisor is just like any other application on your computer, so the setup is minimal. For this course, we're going to assume the hosted scenario. What is Vagrant? If we look at a modified version of our layered architecture diagram from the previous slide, we can get a clearer picture. Vagrant is not the hypervisor. The hypervisor we will be using is called VirtualBox. Other hypervisors exist, such as ones produced by VMware and Microsoft, but we aren't going to be looking at those. So what exactly is Vagrant then? Well, Vagrant is an open source software product which allows you to automate the provisioning and configuration of virtual machines. You can think of it as an application which runs alongside a hypervisor that you use to automate the creation of virtual machines running any type of guest operating system that the hypervisor supports. So, for example, you may use Vagrant in conjunction with VirtualBox as a hypervisor to provision multiple virtual machines on your laptop which is running Windows as its host OS. In order to use Vagrant, you need to define a plain text configuration file that describes your virtual machines and their environment, including any system packages which should be installed. Alternatively, you could integrate Vagrant with some sort of provisioning software such as Chef or Puppet, but we won't be getting into that here. So now you know what Vagrant is. Why should you care? Why should you even use it? The important thing to remember here is that the Vagrant configuration file that you define to describe your virtual machines and environment is portable across different operating systems including Windows, Mac and Linux. So you can take your configuration and give it to every developer on your team. Then they can use Vagrant to automatically bring up a virtual machine environment which matches the configuration specified and is identical on each of the developer's machines. This idea of virtual machines as code is very powerful as it removes the need for you to manually provision environments and as a result, you end up saving a whole load of time that would normally have been wasted on repetitive configuration tasks for each of your virtual machines. Vagrant also allows you to easily manage your environment dependencies rather than having to deal with them manually. Each Vagrant configuration contains only those dependencies that it requires. So, for example, let's say that you have one project which uses Java 7 and another project which uses Java 8. You deal with this by having two separate Vagrant configuration files, one for each project. Then when you want to work on the Java 7 project, you can just bring that virtual machine up and work directly on it. When you want to work on the Java 8 project, you can just bring that virtual machine up and work directly on it. This is much easier than the alternative of having to manually manage multiple Java versions on your host machine. Also, this allows you to stop polluting your development machine with all of the software that you need to run your different projects. By doing this, you avoid any potential dependency mismatch or conflict issues between different projects that you're working on. Each project has its own isolated environment, 
which means you no longer have to spend any time at all dealing with these types of issues. These are just a few benefits. Once you got the hang of using Vagrant, you will find the main reason you use it will just be because it's so much more convenient than the alternative manual way of dealing with virtual machines. You've now got a better understanding of some basic concepts relating to virtualization and the motivations behind why you should learn how to use Vagrant. To carry on learning even more about Vagrant, watch the next video in the course. Be sure to subscribe and even check out some of the other videos available on my channel.